Hello everybody, happy Monday! I hope everybody is doing well. We are approaching the end of January, which means February is just upon us, which means I'm moving. So this will be, more than likely, my last video made here in Texas. So I'm going to do a few updates, share a few things, and so go get your tea, your water, your coffee, I don't know it beef jerky, something, I don't know, whatever y'all snack on. I don't know where that came from because I don't eat beef jerky. But anyway, first of all, I have to show y'all. This is the Cami Rose kit, but I'm showing you her because I ordered this beautiful outfit um, from uh, Nana, oh, how do you say it, Joswiak, I believe. I'm sorry, Nana, if I butchered your name. Anyway, she does make videos, but not too often these days. But she's on Instagram, and she used to do a lot of crocheting, which I still believe she is doing as well. But she has started sewing the cutest little things. And this was listed as newborn, and she asked if I would show a photo on Instagram on one of my babies. But y'all know my babies aren't here except for um, Saffron and Sapphira. And since I only ordered one... Um, but I did have, I pulled Cami Rose out. Uh, she's one of my kits that's going with me in my car. So I set her up to take a photo the other day, and this is the first opportunity I've had to make a video. So I also wanted to make a video. So if you see any of her stuff on Instagram, she also um, sells on eBay. What I can do is I can put a link to her her um eBay down in the description so you can see what she sells. So her newborn stuff truly fits a newborn. I mean, this is so sweet and I love this fabric. Um, so I wanted to show that. And then little Miss Serenity's just here relaxing. And she's so sweet. She's tuckered out. Um, but I just brought her there to uh, see y'all. But I also have a kit. I'm going to do a kit review. But before I do that, ladies, I want to share. I have been trying to watch a couple videos here and there when I can, but as I've told y'all right now, it's just a bit hectic for me. Um, but um, one of the videos I watched, I believe it was just last night because it was Sunday, it was Wendy's Devotion, and oh, it was just so beautiful, Wendy. I have a handful of videos in my um, history that I have not commented on, to be honest, I... I might try to get in some comments tonight. I don't know that I'll be able to, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. Um, just trying to get the best angle for the kit. Anyway, um, but as I've told you all, I have very childlike faith, and I just trust God implicitly. And I have had some of our furniture for sale for um, several months, actually, Um I knew we would have to move based upon what my husband does. I knew the odds were we would not be staying here in Texas. And we had talked about, I think I shared this before, we had talked about downsizing and possibly getting one of those tiny homes. So we were prepared to get rid of, you know, a bunch of furniture and stuff anyway. But, you know, I had posted it on Craigslist and some sales sites and stuff. And some things sold, as y'all remember. My uh, other guest room furniture sold quite quickly, but... One of the, a couple of the things I had listed was our living room furniture, which was a couch, a love seat, and a chair, and then our bedroom, which was a dresser, a chest, and our head and footboard. And they've been here all this time. And you know, part of me is like, well, I really need a place to sit in the evening. But you know, if my furniture sells, I could always, you know, just sit in my bed, I guess. Um, but I received a a message on. Saturday asking was the bed still available and they actually came over quite late Saturday evening to look at it and they actually only wanted the bed not the um, dresser and chest and they made me an offer so I said well let me call my husband and because at that point I really didn't if I because if I was keeping anything of the bedroom set I was interested in mostly in the head and footboard because I have never liked dressers they take up way too much space I don't know if you know what Alpha is, but it's a wire basket system sold at the container store, and that's what I use in my closet for my stuff. Um, the dressers were for my husband's stuff, so I'm going to have to outfit him with some Alpha. But anyway, um, so while I was talking with my husband, while we were talking, I had mentioned that the living room set was also for sale, so they looked at it and asked how much that was, and, 
Anyway, I called my husband to ask about, you know, do we want to just sell the bed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I came out, and they made me an offer for all of it. And um, it was a very good offer, and so they have just picked everything up tonight. So I just wanted to tell you all, God is so amazing, and he... 99.9% of the time does everything in the last minute because he wants to see our faith. And so um, at the end of the day for me, I was like, well, if it doesn't sell, we'll take it and sell it on the other end or see if it fits wherever we end up. Um, But I really preferred to sell it because the less stuff we have to, you know, load onto the truck, there's less you know, hap, you know, things can get damaged in a move, whatever, whatever. So it's just less work for the movers and the packers. If I have to, if I was just going to sell it on the other end, why put them through all that, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, you know, I prayed about it and I'm just so thankful that God is so faithful and just wanted to share that wonderful testimony with y'all. And as I've told y'all, God knows our next address, and I'm just trusting and believing him for that. And um, so, yeah, I will hopefully have some good news about that. We have applied to a few different places, and we're just waiting to hear back. So I will keep you posted on that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share that and let anybody know whose faith is a little bit weary that never give up. Keep your faith and trust in God because... um, he does do things in the last minute. And it's kind of like, you know, there's when I, I remember when I was a little girl, the joke went around like, how come when you find something that you were looking for, it's always in the last place you look? Well, because when you find it, you stop looking. And so, it, you know, God needs us to have our faith till the very end. And if we are not trusting him and not having faith, it just extends the time it takes for things to happen. And I will attest to that through my whole life. The more I hang on to things and the more I try to control things, the longer it takes to happen. And so um, not that I didn't have faith this time. I really, really had faith that they would sell. But I think God allowed me to keep the things until, I mean, I have the Packers are coming Wednesday. Uh, My living room, other than my coffee table, is now empty. And so I will have to, anything I need to do in terms of sitting will have to be done on my bed. And so God was very generous in that he allowed the the items to remain until I no longer needed them. So, because tomorrow I have a list. Normally my list is longer than my arm. My list for tomorrow is longer than my body um, of things I need to do both in the house and outside of the house. So I probably wouldn't be sitting too much tomorrow anyway. And um, and then when the Packers are here. But I do have some folding chairs and um, I have a little rocking chair. So we'll be fine. But anyway, that's a a very long way of saying, ladies, just never give up on your faith and um, always believe and trust God and don't take things back when you give them to him. Okay, so my mattress is a bit lower. I don't know if y'all can tell. There's no longer a headboard, so that's why I probably should have lowered my camera. But anyway, I I had pre-ordered three kits. Two are the same. I had pre-ordered a Levi, and I had actually, because he was coming from McPherson's, um, I didn't know how long the, the post would take. I saw the date he was being shipped, so I had contacted Brenda um, like two or three days before and had her reroute it to where my husband is. So he did receive that package, I believe it was last Thursday. So Levi's waiting for me. Um, but the other was coming from Gina at Noni's Angels, and I elected to have it come here because I knew it's within the States I would be safe. So I ordered two of the uh, Lily, let me make sure I say it right, I think it's Mariana Lily, let me look at her tag here ladies, Lily, oh Marlene. Now ladies, I have not been, I've never like wanted to have a silicone other than a Romy. But when I saw the Lily in, which is by Sylvia Manning, if you don't know her, she's Thistleberry. Um, She made this first in silicone. And all I wanted to do was dress her like in a tutu or something and display her somewhere in my house. But she was very, very expensive. And so I was just over the moon when this, I saw this, she was coming out in a vinyl kit. 
Um, so if you've not seen her, she is full body. Let me show you up here. She's full bodied and the way she's positioned, you can put her in a crawling position or sitting like getting ready to crawl. Um, her limbs, I actually wanted to set her up for y'all and you're going to see girl parts. Um, I did snap one leg. She's a big girl. I snapped one leg on and y'all will see them. This baby has rolls for days. Cutest little tush. Um, but look at these rolls. Um, but the problem is, ladies, that I'll show you how her limbs are. So here's her other leg. Great feet. Look at that. Oh, the shoes she'll be able to wear. Look at these thighs, ladies. But you see here where normally we just have that channel that we thread the zip tie through, this is sticks out here. And so it, it, it pops in there. And I, I was able to do this one, and I thought, oh, I don't really want to put her completely together because then I have to pop them out. So I'm going to try to position her. She won't be, she'll just be sitting, ladies, because... I tried to position her crawling for you guys, but she um, she just kind of kept collapsing. And there her arm is tipping. I'm going to do my best, ladies, so you can kind of get a, a feel for the size of this baby. But um, I can't remember what size she wears. I should have looked that up. Oh, come on, darling. It's really hard. But I have to show you her face. It's so sweet, ladies. Look at that face. Just, and I think she's going to be able to have full pierced ears. I'm not 100% sure. There's a little space. I don't know if y'all can see, but oh, I'm just in love with this baby. So her head, there's like that little... Ladies, I have to put this box, I think, because I don't want her to fall over. So y'all can kind of get a feel. I mean, her arms are really not staying. Maybe that one will stay. She's going to have one arm off. But just so you can kind of see. Oh, she's so beautiful. You can kind of see her in comparison to Serenity. But what we can do is take her noggin next to Cammie Rose. <laughs> Cammie Rose is a newborn. Oh, that looks funny. It looks like Cammie's holding up a head. But anyway, that's kind of for comparison, ladies. Uh, but I am really excited. Again, she's going to be way down the line. She's actually going to be going, being packed. I've got to repack up the box, and um, she will be not accompanying me in the first part of my journey. Um, for those of you new to my channel, and welcome, ladies, to all of my new subscribers. I just, the other night, or to this morning, I think I was answering comments, and as I've told y'all, I have to go in through my, look at that, how sweet. i got to take a photo of that later. Um, how I go in through the community and answer comments. And I haven't looked for a while. I saw I have all these new subscribers. So welcome and thank you to all the new ladies who are leaving comments. I really appreciate that. I have to show you these two are snug as a bug over here. They're under their blanket from their Auntie Judy, but they're still here, ladies. They will be going in the car with me. Um, this is Saffron, and this is Sapphira. For those of you who don't know, these are my babies. And the rest of my babies in my collection are uh, with my husband. Again, for those just joining. Um, and I will be happy to be seeing them this weekend. So... There will be also another new addition to my nursery. I probably won't, because I won't have time to make a video this week. I will probably show that on the other side. We'll see. I don't know if I'll have time, but um, let me think what else is going on. I have been watching some videos. As I said, I need to go leave some comments. I'll tell you, Saida, I about wet myself the other night with your Don King comment. Oh, my word. I just, if I'd have had liquid in my mouth, it'd have been coming out my nose. That was so funny. I'm um, trying to think who else I've watched. I watched Nicole's video. Um, it was also a very long, chatty one. I can't remember. Oh, Nicole, what's your channel name? You were, you gave, you talked about your your two truths and a lie, and then you you kept talking, and it was really sweet. Um, you're going to be going back to school, so congratulations. And oops. Um, 
Let me think, ladies. Oh, I saw Herlanda's video last night. Congratulations. So happy you got the check and that things are moving forward. And you said about the two different color grout. There are actually grout pens that you can change the color of your grout, Herlanda, so you can fix that one room if you want or make them fix it. Darn, I'd have them fix it. You're paying them enough money. But anyway, you don't have to re-grout. You can paint that grout. Um, somebody may have told you that already, but I wanted to share that with you. Um, and I will try to leave that in the comment in case you don't catch this video. Um, I saw Lori changing Destiny, and I saw Debbie had a video. Oh, it's been about a week ago now. Um, I'm just trying to think what else is in my history. Um, as I said, I'm listening to uh, Jen Super Lily Sweet um, share her um, memoirs. Um, let me think, who else has a video up, ladies? I know there's more than that in my history, and I apologize. Um, I know Katie had a video that I watched, but that was, I think it was last weekend. She may have a new one since then. Um, anyway, congratulations for all the new babies. I know um, Linda at My Sweet Cupcake got a new baby. A boy Saskia, yeah, that's been a little while though. Um, <laughs> just trying to stay on top of everything's la everything, ladies, and it, it is hard. I know I am missing quite a bit in the community, and as I've said before, if I have missed anything very, very important, please comment below. Um, I do like to keep in touch with y'all, and there are many more ladies out there that I am watching and praying for, and... Um, I don't want you to think I forgot y'all. I know my, my views have gone down because I've not been as active as I normally am, but that's okay. Um, I'm just here for those who want to be here and share the journey with me. And I know there's a few of you who love my my ramblings. Um, oh, I just lost your name. You're, my, you're in Australia. You love all my details. I do apologize. Your name just went out of my head. She has jaunty and oh, what is oh, I do apologize. Um, so here, this is a hopefully a nice detailed update for you. And uh, and Gail is very nice, been praying for um, Virginia, y'all. She had um, her surgery, I haven't had an update yet, um, but I've um, been praying for her surgery. And also, I, I mentioned it in my last video if you saw Sharon's video at Reborn Enthusiast LOL, she is facing a, a health battle for lack of a better word ladies um cancer is not a joke so um been praying for you and of course all the ladies who have chronic pain um and other health issues um Kristen and Amanda and Nana and Nana's friend whose name just escaped my brain Cindy there it was Nana I remembered <laughs> uh so anyway ladies and just other people who send me prayer requests and I do apologize everybody I am trying to stay caught up on emails. I think I'm a couple days behind again. Um, the last couple days I have not had time to answer emails um, unless they're like to do with my move. I've been managing business aspects of my life at this point and I do apologize but I will get to you. I do get to everybody eventually. Um, I am normally much more punctual but um, due to the circumstances. Um, that's what's going on. So I do hope everybody is just being blessed and enjoying your life wherever you are. Um, we've been in the 70s this week. I'm praying it's that way for the movers. Um, I guess as long as there's no rain, that'll be good for them. But this is probably my husband, ladies, so I am going to have to go. So have a blessed evening, everybody. Bye-bye.